Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, how the honk are ya? Honk, honk. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do micro machines on Roverland today. Yeah, if you don't know anything about micro machines, then you've been, you're not an 80s kid or a 90s kid. Yes. Unbelievable little buggers. They made a zillion of these micro machines. And I've got a little collection. That's right. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you some of my carded stuff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, these micro machines uh, were by Galoo. Uh, uh, a, the partner or a branch from Hasbro. Okay. So they're a Hasbro toy. Um, but uh, they were Galoo. And they... And, they think all they did was the um, micro machines glue. That uh, this is 1992. So they started. Uh, they say in the mid 80s, and uh, they made motorcycles, planes, everything and anything. Uh, here you can see this uh, special collector's vehicle, special edition, uh, the bluish with the blue windows and the kind of the tan, tan uh, roof. And you're going to see that they they are not very, uh, well, I don't know, particular on their paint schemes. They they vary little bit by little bit. So when you get one, you got to get them all because you never know. You might have a, um, something on. But there's a 92 there. Um, I had to buy this. I, I will look at it better more. But uh, I had to buy this. I paid probably too much for it on eBay. But um, this bugger, let's let's measure it out here. Get it up here. This bugger, this card, is 11 inches big. And what is it? Six and a half? Just about six and a half inches, six and a quarter inches wide. This is huge. This is uh, Micro Machines, uh, Macro Machines, still the same thing. Uh, they had the Micro Machines, which were really itty bitty, and then they had mock, um, mark, Macro or Macro Machines that were a little bit bigger. And these are the Smash Up. This is number three, the Range Rover. And uh, I don't think mine works anymore. Uh, that Not in the package anyway. Oh, you're supposed to push the bumper. There's a noise coming out, but <laughs> with the music in the background, I don't think you can hear it. But anyway, I, I this is my in the package uh, uh, model that uh, kind of keeping the history. You can see the four models there that they had. Now this thing is going to squawk all day while I'm doing this. <laughs> but they said something. The macro machines were a little bit bigger, and they said something, and they had special features and stuff like that. So there's a little look at uh, the card art there. This is 1990 here, but I saw this. I, I, in my back of my mind, I remember I paid, I paid too much for it, like I don't know, ten dollars or something like that, maybe more than that. But I, I was just like, I gotta have it with this goofy huge card I mean eight and a half by eleven practically <laughs> you imagine that hanging on the shelf oh my goodness but anyway so I got that one there so this here is um, my case that uh, like I say I like to uh, display my vehicles in uh, nice wooden cases and this is what I've got for my micro machines and uh, we're just going to take a look at it right here and now. Uh, I don't know. I picked these things up at, uh, you know, like I say, Goodwill or wherever. And uh, I usually, I'm trying to get these hung up on the wall. So uh, right now they're just sitting on shelves. And uh, so there you go. So let's open this baby up and uh, take a look. So let's go right away up here to the uh, little... Uh, the macro machines I don't know if you can hear that one too I don't know what kind of screeching noise or whatever it's supposed to do 
But uh, you can, you could, I suppose, take this apart and uh, replace the batteries. I'm not going to do that right now, <laughs> or probably ever. But uh, there you go, just nice details. I uh, don't know about the uh, starred wheels there, but nice rainbow color uh, cast in the uh, plastic. These are mo mainly plastic. Um, you can uh, see, maybe you see in the bottom. Is it upside down? I got it upside down. Go figure. Macro machines. Yeah, made in China, galoo. There you go. But anyway, there are some uh, stickers. I'm going to call those clear stickers that are just stuck on there. This galoo is, is uh, painted. Uh, but they did have those micro or macro, uh, what is that, Ma machines. Those are stickers on the door and on the hood. So I got two of those. Um, I don't know. I think I found one of these in the wild, and I'm like, I can't, I can't believe I found one of these. But uh, pretty decent shape. Pretty decent shape. Uh, this scale, they get kind of um, odd looking. <laughs> yeah, but you can definitely tell it's the old Range Rover, the first series Range Rover with the clam hood. Uh, you know, they don't have a lot of details, but I mean, there's the gas filler cap and the vent on the back and the Range Rover uh, door handles, exterior hinges, you know, the old vent on the hood, wipers there. This has got, uh, it, they never did have interiors in them, so they were all uh, blacked out, but uh, quite cool. The next one that I uh, have here, these are pretty cool. Um, I think these are still the micro uh, versions. Uh, can't really see too well in there. What does that say? Oh, made in China. Got it upside down again, Dano. Oh, way to go. All right, and if we can focus in on that, I don't even know if we could read that. I'm sure it's uh, some regs. But anyway, this is a nice little one. I found this one out in the wild, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, this one pops open. Yeah, and a little, little, <laughs> a little baby one comes out. And uh, like I say, they, they did tons more vehicles than uh, just Land Rovers. But... Uh, so, you know, it's just kind of cool, but that just snaps in there and then it just holds it right in there. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. I think this next one is uh, one I bought on eBay. This is pretty neat, a variation. Uh, military uh, look to it, silver windows. You know, they painted more of the details, got the camo going. Uh, these are all uh, not stickers, unlike that first one. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, we don't have anything in here in this one. But uh, very simple construction, all plastic, you know, very, very neat. But uh, this one was pretty well detailed out. I, I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised about that. So uh, pr pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, yeah, and I, I, don't, I don't know even what they called these. The, it wasn't a smash up, I don't know, baby carrier. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Anyway, down here lower we have... Um, we got more of the uh, regular castings of these. Um, and we'll just uh, kind of take a quick look at what I've got here. You can kind of see, you know, it, I've got uh, same colors. And uh, this is kind of why I like to collect two at a time or two of each is uh, then I can kind of display them uh, in that way. I'm going to try to do some... Uh, movie magic here and uh, zoom in and zoom out here so uh, I like I say I don't really know if these are by year or by you know any particular you know you really can't do much research on these they don't really have much there but uh, you know different colors they did different schemes uh, these can also uh, call for a premium price on eBay as well um, and then I hate to pay for shipping. So, you know, when you're talking, yeah, I wouldn't mind paying three to four dollars for these, but then when you gotta ship it, then it's another four to five dollars. Now it's a ten dollar car, and I'm I'm not that rich. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, so 
just a nice little collection. Like I say, I pick these up. I uh, go to uh, swap meets or anything like that, and they have glue uh, micro machines. I dig through them all. I just, you never know when you might see them, you know, or what, you know, here's a pink one that's definitely not red like these here, you know, but uh, really kind of neat, really kind of neat. I, I enjoy these guys. I think a lot of the 80s and 90s kids uh, had a bunch of these all the time, you know, we be easy to put in your pocket and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, I, I, I don't know, I've never really gotten any trailer hitches or, I don't know, maybe I should look for trailer hitches. Did they have stuff to hitch to? Because I don't remember. Uh, of course, I, I don't remember buying these much in the store anyway, I wasn't a Land Rover nut back there then but uh but yeah pretty neat uh like i say these were not too bad detailed you know they uh they did do some nice detailing uh you know the headlights and the series three got the old plastic grill on there the bumper got the old <laughs> bumperettes the the uh plant potters there yeah <laughs> got the hood uh, wheel on the hood or on the bonnet you know, yeah, it's a 109. It's a long wheelbase. Got the windows in the canvas there. But uh, very nicely detailed for as small as these buggers are. We should kind of do a, uh, a measurement of these. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, look at how small they are. You know, they're just little buggers. And this cute. But uh, there you go. Can't beat that. But uh, yeah, so I yeah I like I say I collect these. They're really cool. I don't I don't have too many of them, but I've got enough. <laughs> the other thing that I want to stop and talk about is I I believe that this is a micro machine. I'm not sure. I was hoping that some of you guys now this has got a ball on it, and I I thought there for a while that they had a ball so they could race around a little bit quicker. But I'm not really sure what this is. I don't have it in this case because it's a different. Uh, it doesn't have room here. Uh, actually, they don't have room in there. Excuse me. But uh, this is actually a Range Rover wood paneling. I like that <laughs> that look. Got little wheels to it and everything. I think this was a later on uh, micro machine, and they got into putting these little metal balls in them so they could uh, go a little bit faster. Now I do have two of these buggers. Uh, I probably could have done a one on Wednesday on this, but I thought I'd just throw it on the tail end of this video and see if anybody's got some uh, information about these, you know? A big old ground skirting on the back there, but not too bad of details. Tail lights on it and everything. Wood grain on there. You can actually kind of tell it's wood grain. Uh, you know, headlights, grill. But uh, I don't really know much about these. Uh, so if you've got any information about these, go ahead and uh, comment down below. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cute little buggers. But normally um, they did the Range Rovers in the, uh, in the uh, crack ups or smash ups, excuse me, smash ups. And then the, uh, I don't know, whatever you call them, <laughs> goofy ones, the, the mama bear ones <laughs> that, that uh, ate them. But anyway, there you go. That's all I got to say about these micro machines. Uh, you know, I thought I might have uh, more of these. I think I do. Uh, wow, where in the world did I put those? Well, uh, yeah, I've got more. I do. Hold on. I found them. I found them. Here they are. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit here. Yeah, they, I don't have them uh, posted up on the wall yet. I'd like to. Uh, here you go. Uh, Micro Machines. This is uh, number seven trail trackers. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So uh, let's see. what uh, This is two, uh, 1994. A little bit newer here. But uh, yeah. So uh, uh, let's take a look at the cars here while we're at it. I thought I had one. So, you know, everybody thinks that that uh, Ford Explorer is a Range Rover, but it's not. And this one comes with the green one in there. Yeah, pea green with the blue windows. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
Oh yeah, collect all the latest models. Look at those buggers. Oh man, now, hopefully you can uh, take a screenshot of those and look over them. Wow, that is unbelievable. Dream cars, hot rod customs, experimental, US muscle, holy cow. All right, let's put that down before I get dizzy. Anyway, the other one that I've got, uh, KB Toys. I don't know if anybody remembers that, $4.99. That's not a bad price for this. Uh, I've got Swamp Adventures, a National Geographic collection. This is pretty nice. There's the little ranger guy there, and alligator, helicopter, land rover, and an airboat. Yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. But yeah, look at that, 1997. So they were late late 90s they were still putting this stuff out so pretty pretty neat uh yeah a couple of more sets there the national geographic society pretty neat polar journey space pioneers oh they did space trips too world war ii moon explorers oh undersea world Pretty neat. There you go. Think big, play small. Micro machines. Oh, talking about that. Do you guys remember micro machines? The the fast talking guy. Yeah, it was uh, what put these guys on the map. Was micro machines had, and I'm I'm probably gonna murder his name, but fast talking John Mats Moschini Moschina Junior. John Moschino Junior. He was um. Guinness Book of World Records, uh, first guy in the Guinness Book of World Records for the fastest talking, motor mouth, uh, John, M-O-S-C-H-I-T-T-A, Moschini, Jr., and uh, what, in the 90s, he got deemed the uh, world's fastest talker by the Guinness World Records, 586 words per minute. And that was the fun thing about the uh, Micro Machines commercials was, is the guy, John, would come on and, Micro Machines, you know, <laughs> talk really fast about how they wonderful they were and everything. Okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. He uh, obviously was a co uh, voice actor and stuff like that as well. Uh, did some Transformer stuff in uh, the mid-80s, late to 80s. But uh, anyway, as far as I know, he's still, still around. But uh, there you go, da, trip down memory lane. If you don't remember these guys, well, that's too bad because they were fun to collect if I could ever focus again on them. <laughs> All right, this is your friend Dan O, not the motor mouth that you're uh, thinking of, but hey, I'm here for you. Remember, I'm full of advice like slow traffic, keep right, and come see us on instagram at roverland or on facebook at roverland all right you guys have a great rover day